Hello everybody, hello year six, hello parents of year six, carers of year six. We just thought we'd put together a bit of a video uh, to show uh, the expectations of, of when year six return to school and how it's going to work. Um, I will be the voice and my lovely assistant, Mr. Bond, will be the face. So this will be the entrance. Uh, that is what you will see as you walk in by the gates. Uh, if you are a parent and you're coming to visit the school, uh, please notice where my lovely assistant, Mr. Bond is, is the two metre gaps as you come in. We do ask that if you do need to come and speak to an adult, you make an appointment first. So, so this is gate number one, uh, and this is where our, uh, our key worker children and our uh, priority children come through. Only gate number one. So this, so this is the entrance for the uh, key worker uh, and our priority groups. That's the key worker entrance and priority group one. And Mr Bond, if you go to the second one, where the second one is, uh, we go through the gate and that is number two. This is gate number two, and this will only be for uh, the children for jumping jacks for our nursery. And this is gate number three, and this will just be for year six. Uh, it's the gate near the sports zone, which was also previously known as the cage. Please remember to keep to your times for this gate. And when standing out here, remember social distancing, keep two meters apart. So once year six have come through their gate over there, they meet on the field, on the playground, sorry, with their teacher in this area, where they will then be taken for their first of many hand washing moments. This is an example of a hand washing station where Mr. Bond will demonstrate the children light up in their bubble, two meters apart, as you can see the lines, and they move around the chairs as if they were in Gatwick Airport. They head towards the hand washing station. Notice how I'm keeping two metres away from Mr Bond at all times. Where you stand and wait your turn. There'll be an adult standing here. Excuse the bells. They will wash their hands twice for a period of ideally 20 seconds. So that will be the first time. And you get... This is another additional hand washing station uh, for children that they can use. All around the school there are a series of hand washing stations uh, for children to use and staff to use when necessary. Once in school we have a series of one-way systems. So this is an example of one-way system where the children will come in from washing their hands and make their way, as Mr Bond has said, following the, the, uh, the signage along the corridor to their classrooms. So here we have two very big children who are sitting at, at, at ideally two metres apart. We will try our best to keep them apart as far as possible, but as you know, the guidance does say it could be quite challenging to keep primary age children at two metres apart at all times uh, with a teacher who has got a designated area over there. Every classroom has a series of hand washing equipment and gloves and all sorts of stuff that they can keep their classrooms nice and clean and each one is clearly labelled with their bubble. Toilets will be unisex and each bubble is being given one toilet. There will only be one person allowed in the toilet at a time and they will be accompanied by an adult. Mr Bond will now show you the inside of a toilet. Here you go Mr Bond. So as you can see, areas like the water fountains are not in use and certain toilets have been blocked off as well as certain sinks. Very nice Mr Bond. 
ET06 bubble has been given an area to play. This area here, as you can see by the temporary fencing, is one particular bubbles area. If we look onto the field, you can see in the distance, there is another bubbles area for play, another bubbles area for play. There's a bubble area in the cage over there, and there's lots of bubble areas down there for children to play. They've also got a shady area, so that if it's hot, they've got a designated space. If I just show you where they will be able to uh, get some shade if needed. For example, that's a staff one. That's a staff one, that's a staff one. But the blue one down there, for example, is the bubble area for some shade. Each class has a selection of play equipment with exactly what's on that equipment, which will need to be washed after every playtime and lunchtime. At the end of each playtime and lunchtime, uh, a child will be nominated to clean the equipment very, very carefully, as this young lad is doing it right now. Thank you, my boy. Each member of staff that's working with children will have a utility belt that they will get to wear and in the belt will be a number of things just to keep themselves safe. This is our notice board which shows where all the bubble locations are, the, uh, the routes out in case of a fire as well as where they will be playing on the field each bubble. I hope you found that useful and we look forward to seeing year six. Uh, hopefully the plan is for Monday the 8th of June, uh, assuming everything will be safe. But that is our plan, Monday the 8th of June. Please make sure you do come and collect your invite uh, from the school um, and it will be in a sealed envelope. Uh, we ask you to sign that you agree uh, with what we've put in place um, and then return it to school with your child on Monday at their designated time. Thanks very much. Goodbye.